Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is June 2nd. Let's go to Lord. Well, the scripture reading for today is from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 27. Lord Almighty, God of Israel, you have revealed this to your servant, saying, I will build a house for you. So your servant has found courage to pray this prayer to you. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the courage to face this day. Even though what we are facing is unknown to us, it is known to you. And we thank you that by the Holy Spirit's leading, you lead, guide, and direct our steps this day to accomplish all things for you in all things that we do. We give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Yesterday we started to discuss exactly what are the greater works that Jesus told his disciples and us that we should be doing. Let's look at the our base scripture again from John chapter 14 verse 12 through 14. Very verily I tell you whoever believes in me will do the works that I've been doing and they will do even greater things than these because I'm going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me anything in my name, and I will do it. Now yesterday I shared the reason we are able to do these greater works is because Jesus has now gone to the Father in heaven. He's seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Amen. Now in John chapter 16, verse 7 through 11, we see where Jesus says, Very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove to the world that they are wrong. They are in sin and unrighteousness and judgment. About sin, because people do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I'm going to the Father where you can see me no longer. And about judgment, because the prince of this world now stands condemned. The greater works that we are supposed to be doing is getting more and more people into the kingdom of heaven by helping them to become born again. Amen? Ah, oh, don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. Jesus did not get anyone born again during his earthly ministry up until just a few days following his resurrection and before he ascended back to heaven. It is a mistaken belief that Jesus saved people, including his disciples, while he was on this earth living in a physical body. And as I said before, the disciples had a kind of promissory note, if you want to call it that, that their salvation would be completed in that day that Jesus redeemed mankind by his sacrifice and then his resurrection. But they were not born again until after that happened. They couldn't be because there had been no sacrifice that God would honor to wipe away their sins. And that did not happen until Jesus actually presented himself as that sacrifice, died, and was buried. Amen? Wait a minute, Brother Bob. Uh, didn't Jesus forgive people's sins in his earthly ministry? Oh, yes, he did. But remember, there is a difference between forgiveness and being born again. Under the Old Covenant, the people could receive forgiveness of their sins by keeping the ritual sacrifices prescribed by Moses. But they could not be born again with a rejuvenated spirit created in the image of Christ. Their sins were only covered by the bull, blood of bulls and goats. But that was enough for them. If they died, they would get to go to the area of paradise while awaiting the fulfillment of the promise of the coming Messiah. That is Jesus. Amen? I'm all out of time for today. We'll take it up right here tomorrow. I want to pray for you that you are seeing the reason why Jesus had to die first before people could be born again. I want to pray for you that, that you're beginning to see why you, you are in a very special position to do greater works than those Jesus was able to do while in his earthly ministry. Amen? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you someone somewhere this day understands now why we as Christians, as born-again believers, are in a position to do even greater things than Jesus did because he has gone back to the right hand of the Father in heaven. And we are now filled with the Holy Spirit. The, the Holy Spirit of the Most High God has been poured out throughout the earth. Now, 
We are called Christians. That's Christ-like in nature. We are little Christians, little, little Jesuses, if you want to call it that, all over this planet, take, capable of taking our place where we are at, where our feet are planted on this ground, and taking authority over the enemy and casting them out. Oh, thank you, Father for wisdom and understanding in this. We give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Shout amen, somebody. Uh, do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. Leave a rating. Jump over on iTunes. Leave a comment and rating there. That All this really does help us get the word out. And be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. Download that free resource, How to Launch a Christian Podcast, right there on the front page. Till next time, it's Pastor Bob reminding you again from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, the Living Bible, to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.